Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with Antelope Audio. For some reason, many audio engineers assume that vintage equates to better. Well, I don't buy into that. In my experience, vintage means expensive to buy and expensive to maintain. I'd much rather buy something new that learns from the old ways but updates them with 21st century thinking. The Gyrotech 14 Parallel Passive Stereo Tube EQ takes all the best bits of some of the most stunning sounding EQ units in history and gives them a new twist to bring them back up to date. And in a truly 21st century twist, the development team at Antelope Audio have recreated this hardware masterpiece as a Synergy Core effect to accompany the Antelope Audio Synergy Core range of audio interfaces. Let's take a look up close at the Gyrotech X1V 14. From the outside, the Gyrotech 14 is a five-band Pultec style passive EQ. Each band has a level control and 11 switchable frequencies, that's 55 in total, with a nice amount of overlap between each band. Each band has a continuous variable Q and an individual boost, bypass, cut selection pot, which is what makes the Gyrotech 14 truly unique for both hardware and software EQs. The Q's filter sharpness is quite low when boosting, but higher when cutting, almost approaching notch type behavior at extreme cut settings. This is a side effect of the applied passive technology, but can be quite desirable in situations where sound integrity is the paramount factor. This is a mastering EQ that can, at the twist of the Q, be accurate and surgical. Another benefit of this interesting EQ topology is a subtle widening of the stereo image, when used on stereo sources of course. Apply Gyrotech 14 to a mix bus and the EQ carves space into a mix without any audible artifacts or phase deformation. The unit also has an overall level output trim as well as a bypass. This equaliser technology is a very developed version of the classic passive inductor capacitor type filter. Although the classic versions are all very usable tools, in many situations they often feel somewhat limited due to their simple design. The engineers at Giraffe Audio, as engineers tend to do, wanted much more of everything and came up with the parallel passive design for the G14. The Antelope software engineers, with access to the original schematics, then modelled every component in the signal chain, from the inductors and capacitors to the precise impedance of the input and output transformers. However, enough talk, let's hear the Gyrotech 14 in action. I've got it here instantiated on the master bus of this track. Starting at the top end, I'm going to overcook each band, then dial it back to give me a nice overall tone that I'm really happy with. She said, you're just a temptation and a minor one at that. I took it for a sign. She said she's got what it takes to make or break me at the gates. I took it for a sign. She turned away 
So there you are, there's a quick look at the new Gyrotech 14 Synergy Core Stereo EQ for the Antelope Audio Synergy Core range of audio interfaces. And of course, it goes without saying that if you place the Gyrotech 14 on a mono channel, it functions as a channel EQ, not just as a stereo or bus EQ. So I really hope you enjoyed that. For more information on the Gyrotech 14 EQ, as well as the full range of Antelope Audio effects and Pro Audio hardware, check out antelopeaudio.com. But for now, my name's James Ivy, and I'll see you again very soon.